Hello all you lovely people in internet land, AC here, and we've got a bit of a different video today. I'm not going to be talking about games, I am going to be talking about the Sony SRF39FP. A radio, effectively. Why would I be talking about a radio? Well the FP here actually stands for Federal Prison. So this was made by Sony and is only sold to prisoners in the United States. So it's kind of a bit of an interesting collectible item and inmates often call it the prison iPod and we'll have a look why. So first of all it's actually quite rare to get these boxed. Uh, there are a number of radios that are available to inmates However, this one is the choice of many, and apparently it's bad luck to take these outside of prison, so to find one in good condition is kind of difficult. To find one in the box is almost next to impossible. I just got very, very lucky with this one. So the box itself, pretty ordinary, got some uh, just barcodes on the back here. Apparently selling these is actually quite lucrative to Sony. And uh, if, they, if inmates do take them out and sell them on eBay, they usually go for three times what they actually bought them for. Alright, so the only blemish here is uh, there was a name or something that was uh, blacked out and I kind of removed the blackness, uh, the black text stuff, uh, and you couldn't see the name underneath anyway, so I think that's alright, so we're not going to get anyone into trouble. So let's open it up and have a look. Alright, now, first of all, you have the headphones, uh, they are just like mini earbuds that say Sony on them, nothing too special here. Uh, interestingly, the cable itself uh, is see-through, it's uh, translucent, so you can actually see the copper on the inside there. Alright, and let's have a look at the unit itself. There we go, the SRF 39 FP. Now, of course, you'll notice that it is completely transparent. Now, the reason for this is because uh, this way, contraband can't be snuck inside of prison or can't be moved around or sold. So you can see everything, you can see all the components, and it only takes one AA battery. Now, what's, uh, if you get these, they usually have a name or the prisoner number scrawled or etched in on the front there. So to find something clean with the clip and with the battery clip as well, is, uh, is kind of getting harder and harder. Now, one of these batteries, one AA, uh, boasts 40 hours of continuous playtime for one of these, which is pretty cool. But when I did a test, I actually found that I left it on for over two days and it was still working, continuous play. So 40 hours might actually be um, conservative. I reckon this has got about 50 hours in it and it might just be because the battery is good by I'm using an Energizer Advanced here. So let's pop it in. Uh, there we go. Oh. Alright, so you can clip it to your belt, uh, and people do call these Walkmans. I don't know whether this is classified as a Walkman, just because it's a radio and I don't uh, know whether non-cassette Sony uh, audio products are Walkman as well, actually. But it's just a radio. It's got uh, the power on and off switch here. It's toggled to off. And on the back you have uh, the band, which is AM, FM, and uh, the FM sensitivity uh, DX and local. So you can actually pick up pretty powerful signals with this. So the reason why this is special and the reason why people uh, and especially Sony collectors and radio collectors like this is because this is really good at picking up FM radio signals. 
because the radio signals have to penetrate the big thick walls of a prison. So people who got these out of prison and were listening to them could actually pick up uh, radio signals from overseas. Apparently people in California were picking up some Japanese signals using this. So it's almost, you know, worth it just for that alone. So it comes with a little bag uh, and it's got a listening for lifetime little manual here. I don't know what that is. I think that's just a, a kind of a safety guide. Don't listen to it too long, all that kind of stuff. And here is the little manual. So once again, difficult to find it with all the accoutrements. It basically is very, very, very simple. All right, and there is the limited warranty, which is only available in the United States. And I am, of course, in Australia, but this works fine. So there you go. It plugs in. Okay, there we go. We just got some advertisements there at the moment. So what I'll do now is I'll actually just connect it up. It's good quality, it's strong, it's durable, it lasts a long time. That is why inmates really love this. And of course, because of its durability, they pass it down to other prisoners and a lot of them stay within the prison system. Uh, Sony did make a couple of updated versions. There was a more digital version, which took two double A's and still lasted a long time. But because you only get a certain set allowance in prison, uh, and this was cheap and effective, which is one of the reasons why it's so popular. Picking up something here. So I got my tag off. And I guess that's why they call it the blue. Thanks to our worldling colonist Tamsin. So there you go. This is just the Sony uh, SRF 39 SP. There wasn't a lot on YouTube about it, so I thought I'd uh, just do a quick video for it. If you find one, pick one up. They do appear on eBay fairly regularly, but of course, a lot of them are miss the, missing the battery cover and the clip. But if you like really powerful, really efficient radios, this is worth picking up. And I should say that there are other versions of this. The exact same version that has a black cover, not transparent, is also available. Right, I'm Andrew AC Yoshimura. Thank you very much.